lack of teaching when we have visions it's just to make us aware of all he has already provided in us visions are to help us discover what is already in us god does not add anything to you after you receive christ you didn't hear that god does not add anything to you anymore after you receive christ along with christ comes everything that god has for you nothing else is added teaching only helps you discover what you already have amen i said amen that's why you cannot revive the spirit. Let's revive. You know churches that like revival. Three days, Holy Ghost fire revival. Annual revival conference. <laughs> what is revive? To give life to what is dying. Hello? Revive means to give life to what is already dying the believer is not dying the believer has eternal life he does not need revival stop praying for revival lord revive me stop that get born again the believer has life forevermore it's called everlasting life the believer in christ doesn't need revival Revival doesn't happen to Christians. You are alive to Christ eternally. The same spirit. Diversities of gifts, but the same. Means you don't have an encounter with two spirits. You only have one spirit. The same spirit. It's not like the Holy Ghost came, you are now born again. Then the spirit comes again, you are baptized with the spirit. Then the spirit comes again, you pray in tongues. No. Then he has to come again, you prophesy. When you finish, he goes back. Nothing like that. Then when you want to pray for the sick, the spirit will have to come again. So you have to fast. Tomorrow I'm going to be praying for the sick. So the spirit will come on me heavy. No. If it's your fasting that does it, then it's not a gift in Christ. If it's a gift in Christ, your efforts are not needed. You don't help the gift. The gift is self-helped. Am I teaching? And so if that's your mindset, revival, revival, you need to renew your mind. God gave the earnest of the spirit in our hearts. Everything God will do, he does through us. Everything God will give is already available in us. Say, I hear you. The experiences may differ, but it's the same spirit. Look at 1 Corinthians 12 verse 4. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 4. Now, there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. Look at verse 7. Same chapter. But the manifestation, the unveiling of the spirit is given to every man. How many people? To profit with all. That is for the common good. Look at verse 8 to 10. 8 to 10. For to one is given by the spirit the word of wisdom. To another the word of knowledge by the same spirit. Next verse. To another faith by the same spirit. To another the gifts of healing by the same spirit. Next verse. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. Now, he mentions tongues, interpretation of tongues, and prophecy. We call them the all trans gifts. The all trans gifts. Tongues, interpretation of tongues, prophecy. All of them are vocal gifts. Vocal. Utterance. There are, are primarily three gifts that speak forth. Speak forth. Speak forth. Vocal. Utterance. 